guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So it is the 29th that I'm recording this, but you guys are actually going to see this on the 30th. So merry belated christmas i hope you guys all had a phenomenal christmas i definitely did i enjoyed the time that i was able to spend with my family but i am on the other side of my room by the door um i had to do some shuffling around of my bookshelves because this bookshelf almost broke twice um i don't know if you guys can see like the little gap here but this top like these top three rows are leaning that way so i had to maneuver that and um i will eventually be getting rid of this to get black bookshelves um get another black bookshelf but for the time being while we're still here i'm just gonna manage this while i can and then when we move i'll get all new fresh bookcases but i moved it over here and so i can actually record videos now on this side and this video is going to be a book haul now honestly i forgot that i didn't have any more footage um to post for today which is wednesday that you're seeing this so i decided to do this quick haul for you guys and um i will have my full december book haul coming to you guys soon but i wanted to do this because i did a dedicated one previously before for a set of books that i received from barbara and Britton. and as the title says this is again another haul from her and if you guys haven't seen the previous one when i hauled these three books click the eye to go watch that video but i emailed her and requested that i get providence which is hannah's journey this is a biblical fiction retelling all about the story in second king chapter five about naaman and the servant girl and um i adored this i did do a reading vlog for this book i gave it five stars this was a fantastic book i did a spoiler free one so you guys can watch it and not be spoiled about what goes on in the book so if you want to watch it click the eye on the screen but i gave this one a five star all the way it also came signed and with a matching bookmark which i did laminate so we had that book right right okay and then um i also asked her for two other books as well so um you know she sent me these two this one is jerusalem rising so providence is book one in the tribes of israel series and jerusalem rising is book three this one follows uh the prophet nehemiah i believe nehemiah chapter one through eight and um it's all about the young girl named Ada, who is the daughter of Shalom. Shalom was one of the governors. I don't know why this is turned the wrong way, but she was um, one of the daughters of the governor and uh, she helped rebuild the walls. It's in the Bible, read Nehemiah 1 through 8. Um, and I enjoyed this. I gave it a 4.5 star rating. Again, it came signed and with a matching bookmark of course i also have a reading blog for this so you click the eye on the screen but again this was a 4.5 star rating for me she also sent me the first book in the daughters of zelophehad series which i was super excited for because we love it and um it's lioness Mala's journey and this one follows numbers 27 numbers 26 and 27 and something else is on the screen i every time i get to this book i always forget because i always want to say 17 and 16 but it's 26 and 27 so um yeah it follows the daughters of Zelophehad. um they basically had no inheritance they had no father their father had no sons and thus they asked moses to uh see if he if they can get the inheritance of their father and they were given the inheritance and um this was a 4.75 star rating for me i loved it so much click the eye to go watch the reading blog for that but the reason why these are rated the way they are is because i literally read these back to back so i read this on a friday read this one on saturday the same week and then the following sunday i read this so three days straight i read these books and i think i should have waited in between so um yeah so barbara did send me the other books and i'm so so excited so she did send me an email to see if i had purchased them because i already had them in my amazon cart and i was tempted to like order it immediately but i was having to figure out some stuff um so she emailed me and asked me if i wouldn't you know if i would love the copies and i was so for it because i wanted to read the other books and thus i have the other three books so excited so i have book two which is um building benjamin which is naomi's journey this is the sequel to um not the sequel but like a companion sequel to providence and jerusalem rising so now i have books one this is book two this is book two and then this is book three which i'm excited for but this i believe she said is her most romantic story and this one follows um judges chapter 21 but the backstory is from judges 19 and 20 so i would say definitely read um judges 19 and 21 to get a fuller understanding of the story that she has written which i definitely will be doing but um yeah so on the front it says to maintain her family's honor can naomi abandon the shepherd who has not only captured her body but stolen her heart 
here is the cover and before i read the back it is also signed with a matching bookmark i already laminated this i got this package a couple days ago and i've been waiting to make this video so we have the matching bookmark and just a heads up i know that this side of the screen is really really fuzzy the problem is i have a screen protector on my phone and the screen protector is actually cracked which is making it fuzzy on this side if i take the screen protector off this side will be clear but i don't want to do that because my phone screen is completely glass all the way and i am terrified of breaking it so i'm going to leave this uh, protector on until I get a new one so I apologize about the little blurriness on this side like if I put the book over here it's really blurry but um yeah just wanted to say that but I'm gonna read the back so on the back it says love grows where God grabs the tender shoot Naomi desires to dance well enough to catch the eye of a wealthy landowner her father needs a substantial bride price due to the deaths of her brothers at the hand of the tribe of Benjamin but when the Benjamites raid the Ephraimite feast and capture the young girls, Naomi is bound and carried away from her home by Eliab, a troubled shepherd who needs a wife. As Naomi awaits rescue, she finds Eliab has a strong faith in God and a just reason for abducting her. A reason that affects all the tribes of Israel. The future of the tribe of Benjamin hangs in the balance, but if Naomi follows her heart and stays with Eliab to rebuild his lineage, she must forfeit her family and become a traitor to her own tribe. So this is what she described as an enemies to lovers plot, which I love a good enemies to lovers. I'm here for it. And um, it is her most romantic novel. So I'm definitely, definitely super excited to dive into this. I will be doing a reading vlog, of course. There is also an audiobook copy of this on Scripps. So I will be using Scripps to listen to the audiobook as I read. Probably, yeah, I will. I'll use the audiobook on Scripps to um, follow along. So we have this book. The next book I got is, um, is it the sequel to this? I want to make sure I have it in the right order. <laughs> So I think this is the next one. I'm just looking at the note because she did write me a note uh, with some information. Okay, so yeah. So the sequel to Lioness is going to be Heavenly Lights. Um, and it's Noah's journey. And um, Zalofa had had five daughters. They are Mala, uh, Noah, Milka. No, Milka I think is the youngest one. Let me see. I'm going to tell you guys the names because I don't want to get that wrong. Um... Yeah, so there's Mala, who's the oldest. Noah was a year younger. Then there was Hogla. Hogla? Hogla. I can never say that girl's name right. Milka. And then Terza was the baby. So um, I enjoyed Noah and Milka a lot. So I'm excited to dive into that. So we have Noah's story. Um, and this one says, will Noah be allowed to settle her father's land or will tradition trap her in the tent of a troublemaker? Ooh, that sounds interesting. And I think these last two books are also going to be romantic based as well. Let me just check. I am checking. I am checking. So this one covers Joshua chapter 5 and 8. So I would definitely say read Joshua, of course. But um, on the back, it says, Noah bat Zalofa head has tended her father's herds and flocks since she was a girl. With God's gift of land, she plans to make her sisters wealthy with livestock. But when a conniving clansman takes a liking to the bold shepherdess, his scheme may snatch her from the fields she loves. Only one person understands Noah gifts with animals, Jeremiah, the mute shepherd who has been her field companion for years. After the walls of Jericho collapse, God stays silent in the battle of Ai, leaving Jeremiah wounded in Noah's marital status in jeopardy. But Noah remains faithful to God and her animals and trusts that she will be able to forge a future with her sisters, even when enemies abound. Will the daughters of Zalofa had be able to settle their land together or will Noah get left behind? So I do remember Noah and I do remember Jeremiah, who was the mute. Um, he Noah basically was the second oldest, but she was more, I want to say tomboyish. She definitely was in the field. She was working with the flocks, um, even when they were um, going through the, I don't want to say Exodus, but they were traveling from one location to get to Cana. She was always with the flock, and I do remember um, Jeremiah. He was such a cutie pie, always really quiet because he's mute. But um, I think he did speak a couple of times in uh, Linus. I can't remember. I can't recall for sure. But um, I'm excited to see what her story is about because she was interesting. There wasn't a lot of Noah in the book, but when you did find her, you knew in Linus she was always with the flock. So I'm excited for this book so this is the second book and then the third book which i love this cover you guys this cover and the makeup definitely need to do look at it claiming cana um this is going to be milka's story and milka is definitely the sister that was always with mala so um she was the fourth baby i'm, I'm saying fourth baby but the fourth daughter 
yeah and she was always with um I, I believe she was always around um mala if i'm not mistaken or was it hola can't remember but um yeah here is the cover this cover is giving me life um i love like the grapes here just amazing um and this one covers it doesn't specifically say what scripture i'm gonna throw the scripture on the screen because i know on her website she specifically tells you what scripture so the scripture is on the screen but this is also related to um proverbs 31 verse 16 as well as far as the proverbs 31 woman working with a vineyard so this one says in order to claim her inheritance milka must find a betrothed who doesn't die before her wedding day that is hilarious to me um you have to find somebody that's not gonna die before your wedding day this makeup you guys i need to recreate this look so bad okay so on the back it says when the tribal elders make marriage a requirement for claiming her land, Milka Bat Zalofa Head, I think that's how you say that, right? Zalofa Head, um, must find a betrothed straight away. The only problem in finding a husband is that all her suitors are slain while conquering the land of Canaan. Men avoid her in order to stay alive. After praying to God to send her a bold suitor, a man from her father's clan plummets from a tree right on top of her. <laughs> oh, that's that that that's gonna be funny. Um, is this God answering prayer or a foolish antic by Eli, the war scarred brother from one of her clan's rival families? Will settling in Canaan sort out Milka's troubles or have her woes just begun? So that just sounds like it's gonna be funny. Um, you praying for a man and a man literally just falls out of the trees on top of you is gonna be funny to me. So I'm excited. Um, I think this is one book that I will be laughing through a lot and um i forgot to show you guys that both of these are signed so here's that one signed and for these two um they don't have their own like book cover if that like they don't have their own bookmark if that makes sense how like lioness did and i'll exp i'll show you what i mean so lioness actually had like its own matching bookmark to the cover these two do not they just say daughters of the loaf ahead series and then on the back you have the, all three books on the cover on the back um so that's that book for that and then for this one it's the same thing same bookmark and then it's signed as well so i definitely will have reading vlogs for these and i will be spreading these throughout the month of january i'm going to read them in january um along with maybe two or three other books but um i definitely want to read these for sure for sure in january but i'm going to spread the time that i read this because doing it the way i did the other books is not going to work because i definitely want to give them a fair chance at rating them so um, i'm going to go into these um a little more open-minded because it's been a while since i read the others even though i love the others i'm hopeful um i think i'm really of the three i'm going to enjoy oh i think this one the most because it sounds funny but i know that barbara also said that this one is um her most romantic so we'll see which one i like the most and we'll see what my ranking is i think after i read these last three books i'm going to do like a ranking order of like how i feel about the books um just because i think that's going to be awesome but um yeah so now i have all six of her books i am so excited let me put these in order let's put these in order so these covers are just everything oh my gosh they're just gorgeous and i love the fact that i have matching bookmarks okay but um here are the spines i think it's interesting that in the set for the tribes of israel everything is like colored but for the daughters of the loaf hat only her name is colored um but i love how all of the covers let me see if i can get this shot in they all have the same style it's hard to show it all <laughs> But they all have like the same style, which I'm here for it. So I'm super, super excited for that. And thank you, Barbara, so much for sending these books to me. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I am excited to read. Is this book wider? That is so interesting. So this book here, Claiming Canaan, is actually wider than the other books. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. I'm lining these up together. Can you guys see? It's wider. <laughs> but um, they're all from Harbor Light books publishing company which is a part of pelican book group um and i think they're the same producers of um where is that series i have a series from that company i just have to find it are these the books here yeah so the same um publishers of the tales of fey raven fey fey haven fey haven 
Faye Raven. <laughs> the Tales of Faye Raven. I had to look. But um, yeah, I'm super, super excited for these. I can't wait to finish this, these series up and um, see what my thoughts are for the beginning of the year. So definitely expect reading vlogs for those three books in the beginning of January, as well as um, a book review coming soon. But here is my shelves, you guys. I will have a entire in-depth tour of my bookshelf entire i don't know if this is going to be like one full video i don't even know how you guys want me to do it so do you want me to just show you how, how i have it organized or do you want to see each an individual book on my shelf um which is going to be crazy because i have this entire bookshelf i have a row on that other bookshelf and then i have my other mini bookshelf over here so you guys let me know in the description how you want to see this video if you want to see every book on my shelf in depth i can definitely just show you guys some i won't probably talk too much about each book but i will definitely go through them because as you can see my books are double stacked double rolled um so yeah but that's it for this video um and i know you guys this used to be my prayer wall i did have to take it down but i will be adding some prayers on this wall still i'm gonna put a few up there maybe some here and here and then i might throw some on the wall over here i'm gonna show you guys this side is like messed up pay that no mind they will be repainting my room don't know when but um i probably have throw some up there and then i have some space on the other side of my bookshelf and maybe some space over here because i have let me see if I can show you guys without doing too much. So I have, I don't want to show you guys my word of the year, but I have my like table area over here as well. Um, I will also be sharing with you guys my word of the year for 2020. Um, I 2021, excuse me. I didn't really, I don't think I've ever did a video on my word for 2020. Um, I just was like baffled between, not baffled, but like was confused on what my word of the year was going to be. But I did have a word of the year for 2020. Um, actually, let me see if I can find the... Um, notebook i don't even know where that notebook is actually okay i had to go get my old journal that i use my notes in for doi but um i know i have it in here somewhere i think yeah my word of 2020 was love um and i picked that word because I really wanted to put serve as my word, but I felt like you do everything in love. So for that, my word of 2020 was love. And with that, I was thinking of serving and communicating, worshiping God, praying, thinking of myself, loving on myself, loving others and speaking in truth. And you do all of that because of love. So that was my word of the year for 2020. But I didn't really um, make a big post or uh, talk about it too much just because I was so iffy about it. But I did. I can see now how I exuded love. Um, and me serving other people, serving in my church, um, and uh, doing a lot better in my relationships. So, yeah, that was that. I didn't really have a verse, but here is what I had written down. Um, so, yeah, this is a notebook that I no longer use because I have a new journal for 2021. Um, but, yeah, that is it. So, I will have my word and verse of the year coming to you guys soon. That's going to be one separate video. Um, I will also have an announcement of all the book clubs the book club books as well as the bible studies for 2021 which i'm super super excited for if you're in the instagram group instagram group why did i say instagram group if you're in the facebook group then you know if you follow my facebook page daughter of increase on facebook um then you would have seen it i don't think i announced it on instagram as of yet but i will post that information soon on instagram but um we have picked our bible studies for the year we also have picked our um what is it called book club books uh for the year we have five main reads but i did add an additional one just in case we have time to get to that one um what else what else what else oh also i did create a patreon i finally made the patreon i made the patreon about a month ago i think i made it in november um and i think i announced it quickly on uh the in the facebook group and on instagram but i didn't really do a video on it and i know you guys here on youtube are interested in learning about that so i do have a patreon account it is linked down below there are four tiers the $3 tier, the $5 tier, the $10 tier, and the $15 tier. Um, and I don't remember all the information for it, honestly, right now at the top of my head. But I will have a sit-down video explaining everything with the Patreon. But if you are interested in checking out the Patreon and joining and supporting the ministry outside of YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and stuff like that um, on a financial level, then just go down below. 
um to the patreon and you'll understand and see what all the tiers are for um also if you guys ever want to donate the donate link is down below i'm going to be switching up my description box for 2021 so i'm actually going to be working on that after i upload this video um so that everything is more visual for you guys to see um i also have an amazon store now because a lot of you guys are always asking me what my wish list is and stuff like that so all of that will be in the description for 2021 i'm definitely going to um try not to hinder myself with my fear as far as accepting donations and gifts from you guys um because i did not start this ministry for that but god is like it's okay people want to be a blessing um and in me not receiving your blessing i'm blocking your blessing is what i'm learning so that is that but that is it for this video i will see you guys later um sorry that this is a sort of rushed video you probably hear music in the background i apologize my brother is working on his song right now so yep sorry about that but i'll see you guys in the next video and the next video you'll see will probably be in the new year so happy early new year to you guys and i'll see you guys later bye